Michelle, this is Sydney Dong. I believe I got a voicemail from you guys a little bit ago. Um, I, I didn't catch the name, but it ended in Anna. And then they asked me to request Michelle when I called back. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sorry, I didn't catch the name. Yes, my last name is Dong, spelled D is in dog, O N G is in girl. Sydney, S Y D N E Y. Yes, my date of birth is 0830-1996. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. <laughs> um thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, ha oh, <laughs> have a great day. Bye bye. Do you see me? Hello. Mom? Hello? Do you see me? Yeah. You just called, right? Yeah. Did you just call to say wow. hi? So, the reason why I didn't pick up your call, guess what, Mom? What? I got into medical school. Where? What? I mean, the only one I interviewed at so far. <laughs> And then the thing is, okay, I, ha I had a feeling that they were going to call me for something. Okay, I'm going to put you on the camera, okay? My mom. Because <laughs> they left me a voicemail, and then I had a feeling that it was going to be hopefully happy news because they called me. So then I just called back and I recorded my reaction, but I almost cried, and then you called, and then, wow. <laughs> Yeah, and then the whole time going roam because I was so nervous. Oh my god. Were you just calling just to say hi? Yeah, just say ask you if you picked up. Yeah, wow, what great timing. But this morning when I got into the Uber, the person, he was, he said that he liked Ubering because it was his passion to uplift people and inspire them. And then after he asked me what I was passionate about, I started talking about medicine. And then after he was like, you know what? I see it. You're gonna do 
you're gonna do great things in the future. I can see you just making an impact. And it's just crazy that like, wow, you're just what I needed this morning. And then he says, well, he's also religious. He's just like, I didn't know that I, you needed me, but he did. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> but then I just had a feeling that today was gonna be pretty good. And then that happened and then wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I hope you walk up What? But, oh my gosh. Mom, I'm giving you a doctor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's like, what's your name? What's your date of birth? And I was like, this, this, this. And then she's like, oh, I just wanted to say congratulations. But they wanted to offer me a seat. And she said that my interviewer was very happy to talk to me and she said that things will come in the mail from four to six weeks yeah wow yeah mom guess what also it's snowing you want to see it yeah wow. yeah i know mom we can save money now just kidding <laughs> We don't have to go and fly out to all the schools now. We have at least one in our basket. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Yeah, I mean it's warmer. <laughs> yeah. Wow, congratulations. I'm so happy. Yeah, so they'll give the official letter and a whole package in a month. And she said I don't have to make my decision until April 30th. No deposit, no nothing. I can just like, no deposit, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday or two days ago, Ray called me saying, hey, any good news? And I was like, no, why? And then in my head, I'm like, oh man, his friends already got in. And I was like, dang it, I didn't even get a call. But then, I just got it. <laughs> yeah, like it's a couple and then they got in. They interviewed, I think, three weeks before I did. So I was like, oh, that makes sense because maybe it'll take some time before they get to my call. Um, but yeah, I guess it's earlier than I thought. <laughs> I'm so happy. I didn't cry. I almost did, and then you called me. I was like, I'm happy. Again. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for calling. This came at a good time, mom. Yeah. <laughs> the Wow. Okay. Have fun. Thank you for calling. I'm so proud. <laughs> Wait, I should call on high. I'm going high too. Okay. Bye, mom. Uh, I love you. Be careful. Bye. We're gone. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. Uh huh. Okay. Bye, mom. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Love you. It's not gonna work. It's too. You're last. <laughs> Probably in class. So I, I got a voicemail because I'm horrible at picking up my phone and I was like, I have a feeling if they're calling me, is it going to be okay? So I just filmed it and if it was embarrassing or bad, I was just going to delete it. But hi, you're on my video now. <laughs> oh, sick. Oh my god. Dude, congrats, man. You're shining bright like the sun right now. I know. I'm. It's snowing right now. Do you want to see? No, it's not. Well, it doesn't look like it, but then like, just pretend like the sky has dandruff, like that's what's going on. But it was funny because I was on the phone with the admission director and then I missed Nia's call. So then I was like about to cry, like there's like two tears coming out of this right one, right? But then Mia called and she's like, what's up girl? And then I just started telling her that I got really happy and I'm done crying. Did, that would have been good content. Did, <laughs> did Mia know that? No. Oh. She was just worried about me today, so she's been calling me throughout of just, oh, just be careful doing this and that. Called the Uber, and then the man was just like, you know, he was just like, hey, Sydney? And I was like, Traval? And he's like, yeah, and I was about to open the door, and then he's like, no, 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 look at my license plate. And then I was like, oh, okay, and then I went to the front, and he's like, oh, you're not from here, huh? And I said, no. He's like, yeah, we only have license plates in the back of Michigan. So I checked, and I was like, cool, this is you, you're Traval. 
and then he was just really upbeat, really happy. He's a minister, and then he said that his passion was inspiring people. We were just talking back and forth and just having a positive mindset, and he just made me feel really supported and comforted. And then as I left the car into the coffee shop, I was like, wow, you're right, you're like, inspiring people is your passion. I didn't know you were what I needed this morning. He's like, I didn't know, but he knew. And I just left feeling, oh shoot, today's gonna be good, let's focus. So when I got that call, I was like, like Trevon's like, ah, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because then that means you'd rather go to Florida than like a lot of other things. Yeah, like, I think before a lot of places, Florida's pretty up there for me. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks for calling back. I knew you were busy. Honestly, everyone was busy. Everyone's like, can I call you back? And I was like, yeah. But I couldn't wait, so I just texted them like, guess what? Congrats, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Like, <sighs> congratulations, man. Thank you. It was crazy. Yeah. I like, said to me, like, Mom, I'm gonna be a doctor. And I was like, oh. 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 <laughs> I know. Uh. Dude, no, not gonna lie. Like, I filmed some clips this morning because I was just feeling really displaced yesterday. Like, I was kind of sad. I also watched movies in the plane in between two people. And dang it, why'd I do this? But it was a movie with two cystic fibrosis patients, like, fell in love and then they couldn't touch each other. So they couldn't really. Love, not like love like that, but they just could, had to be, they were separated, and then that like messed me up. So this Airbnb really late, it was pitch dark, and then the Uber driver was like, Why are you here? And I was like, I mean, if they ask you to come, I'm gonna come, and they're like, I don't like it here, and I'm like, Okay, <laughs> um, honestly, I wouldn't even notice. I'll be at school if I did go here where I would make the most out of it, but then I was just feeling weird coming here. Wow, I'm really here by myself, yeah, yeah, but there's a cute dog in the house. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. Kalamazoo has a cute dog. Yeah, a cute dog <laughs> at this place that I probably will never come back at. <laughs> Pros. Yeah. Pons. It just hit me that, wow, like, the schools I got back to, this is where I would possibly be for the next how many years. And I think here, since yeah. like I'm really by myself, it hit hard that, whoa. Because <laughs> I've been lucky yeah. every point of my life to either have family or friends really close or not even to be that far from home. Yeah. But yeah, this one is like the first like, woohoo! It's one of them new adventures. Yeah. New chapters. Yeah. Hey, you got Ray. You got Ray. I know. What's up, Ray? Ray sent like a wahoo with the slam effect. No, he said, oh, congratulations, and there's confetti. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy goes to Ray. <sighs> oh, man. Right. Okay. Enjoy the moment, man. I know. Savor it. Use this to ride into my um, interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be super loose with your interview. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> hey, let them do what they want to do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks guys, for calling. Bye. 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 Why do you think I called? I got into medical school. <laughs> Thanks, man. The only one I interviewed at so far. <laughs> I like almost shed one tear right here. So they left me a voicemail. And then since I'm horrible with my phone, surprisingly, because all I do is sit on my butt all day and talk to people on the phone, right? I didn't pick up the call. <laughs> and then I like verified my name, date of birth, all that, all that medical, all that medical health stuff. And then she said, I just wanted to call to say that and then I was a nervous middle school boy trying to ask this girl to a dance and I was like oh, da, 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 da. yeah like your passion is inspiring like you're just what I needed this morning and he said I didn't know you needed me but he did and then I was like <laughs> no I didn't do that I didn't do that I wanted to though now I'm just like flabbergasted I know Thanks, dude. It's cool because you saw me deflate the other day of not getting something. Do you know why I think I was so sad about that? It's not because I was in love with that school, but I think it's because there's people there that I feel like have been really good at playing the pre-med game of being mean or not having genuine intentions, but then getting by the system. 
So I think it hit home. I would never say like I'm better than someone, but like my heart, I feel like is in a good place and to not even have the chance, you know? I think that kind of, that struck a chord with me. Not so much the school, but everyone's journey is different and I just gotta be grateful for what I get. Dude! Yeah, I think it hit me and now like either I think the caffeine's hitting me because now I have to pee really bad I watched a movie yesterday on the plane and do you know how you said you're a hopeless romantic? I watched hopeless romantic movies and then in my head I was like yo, I freaking get it dude. I freaking get it